Welcome back. Some smoky skies across the region. A lot of that is to the south and west of, Sp uh, rather, yeah, south and west of Spokane, uh, making its way to the east over central panhandle of Idaho. A lot of that coming from the Range 12 fire just east of Yakima. Those winds out of the southwest blowing that across the region. So we are seeing a little bit of smoke move into the Spokane area tonight, continuing to see those chances because those winds are staying a little bit breezy out of the west. Five to ten miles per hour. Those gusts, though, near 20 miles per hour. 54 for our overnight low. Clear skies. Besides that, we have a very slight chance of seeing some showers, light showers, possibly a few lightning strikes. Most of that will be for the northeast mountains extreme northeast Washington this evening looks like things will die down around sunset though tomorrow another cooler day in the 80s still sunny skies winds dying down out of the east 5 to 10 miles per hour today's high we're in the 80s 83 in Spokane 56 for our low usually we're right at 86 so we're below average for a change 58 is usually our low we're gonna stay close to those average highs for most of this week, then we climb back into the 90s around Thursday and Friday. 81 still right now in Spokane. Winds out of the west at 15 miles per hour. In Coeur d'Alene, we're at 82 degrees. Sunny skies, winds out of the east at 13 miles per hour. We do have that system making its way into the region, dropping down, bringing us those light showers. Most of that will be for extreme northeast Washington and into the northern panhandle of Idaho. Possibility of some lightning strikes associated with that, but that's about it. Just those light showers and possibly some lightning strikes. Clearing out, though, very quickly. You can see Sunday, 10, 11, 12 o'clock, and then we have high pressure building in. That's going to keep us dry tomorrow before we see another system push in Monday evening. That could bring us some light showers, mostly along the Cascades. But it's also going to bring us some windy conditions as we head into Tuesday, which is why we do have a fire weather watch in effect for parts of the lower Columbia Basin. I'll get to that in just a minute. Current wildfires are pushing that smoke up into the central panhandle of Idaho and into western Montana. So if you're seeing that smoke, likely that's coming from the range fire just east of Yakima. And that's pulling some smokes, smoke in from some of those uh, wildfires just to the west of Lewiston as well. Fire weather watch that's in effect Tuesday afternoon and evening for the lower Columbia Basin because those gusty winds and low relative humidity there. So we are going to see that come up again later this week. Overnight lows tonight in the 50s in Spokane, 56 in Lewiston, 40s up in Sandpoints. We are dropping off quite a bit tomorrow in the 80s again. 87 in Spokane Valley, 93 in Lewiston, 92 in the Tri-Cities. 78 on Tuesday, so we drop off quite a bit. Windy conditions Tuesday, sunny skies. Then we do see a little bit more cloud coverage by Wednesday, staying in the 70s. Then we climb back into the 90s by Friday, staying fairly warm for the weekend. A little bit of everything this yeah, week. Yeah, I like it. Well, yeah. Except for that wind. I can do without the wind. I know. The wind's not great. Check out Jake. Weekend Whiskers, Yellow Lab tonight. Oh, nice. This is like the senior picture for dogs, is this not? <laughs> totally it was just is. such a well done picture. Just, I don't know what he's looking at, like, but he's adorable. Deep thoughts, yeah. Jake. Deep thoughts. Look to your the left. Mind of a dog. Perfect. <laughs> if you want your pets featured on Weekend Whiskers, email me, AlyssaD at KXOY.com.